So thank you very much for coming. So this is the first of, I don't know how many uh, Unity tutorials that I'm going to do. And this is an introductory tutorial. Everyone should have notes. Um, if people want to follow along on your computer, then that's the URL. It's only going to be up there for a minute or so. Um, and it's good to see quite a few people here. Um, and it shows kind of how interesting Unity is at the moment. And um, just to get an idea, how many people have used Unity before? Okay, so I see some of the, the students here. I should have probably done this before you had to do the coursework in Unity, I guess. But um, next year, maybe. Okay, and Unity has become quite interesting at the moment because it offers uh, a lot of very powerful tools for free and very powerful tools for a very reasonable price. Um, and it's become something of a standard in the independent uh, game developer community. And also for people like us, people who want to um, you know, create a prototype, some, some, um, some graphical uh, prototype, whether that's for a, a virtual reality system or whether it's to do with an experimental user interface and things like this. So it's, uh, it's become some sort of something of a standard also with both software and hardware houses. So typically when a new um, hardware peripheral like this is the Razer Hydra, um, also the Oculus Rift, um, the Leap Motion, any kind of, of these cutting edge um, uh, never seen that message before. Um, any of these cutting edge kind of graphical user interface type hardware uh, will typically, the software house will uh, create a, a Unity plugin as well, so you can use your devices within Unity. So it's very, kind of, um, it's, it's a very useful. Uh, an engine to know something about. So today I'm assuming no knowledge, but those with knowledge, I hope that there'll be something interesting uh, for you in here. This is the approximate content. Each of these bullet points is going to have um, demonstrations and examples. So I'm going to start off with resources. Um, just uh, before, I'm just going to talk a little bit about licensing. So Unity comes in two flavors. It's the free version and the pro version. And the free version, you can pretty much get away with. I'd be surprised if most of you couldn't use the free version for most of the stuff you want to do. Um, if you want to do, uh, if you want the more cutting edge graphical effects like deferred rendering, render texture, um, tone mapping, global illumination, then you will need a pro license. Um, also, if you want to do inverse kinematics uh, for animation and um, other types of video playback and things like that, then you also need the pro version. Uh, until about three days ago, Unity had um, also split the licensing according to platform. So if you wanted to deploy to iOS or Android, then you would also need a separate license for that. That remains true for the only for the pr uh, only for the pro version. So now you can deploy to iOS and Android for free. Now um, they just announced that three days ago. Um, also, they try and keep up with trends. So, for instance, also three days ago they announced that real-time shadows were also available in the free version, when previously it was only in the paid version. So they're kind of they keep the pro version desirable, um, but the free version is still very powerful. And if you make over $100,000 a year, then you need the pro version as well. Um, if people are interested in buying it, if you're a student or you have students, then a company called Studica uh, offer quite cheap academic pricing. So you can get a full commercial license. This includes iOS and Android platforms for £1,500. Um, that's typically, I think, around £4,000 if you buy it straight from Unity. This uh, is just if you want to just deploy pro to desktop that's 500 pounds and then uh, if you're a, if you're lucky enough to be a student then it's 200 pounds uh, for the full that's iOS and Android deployment however I think the student licensing only lasts for one year whereas the other the other two I've mentioned are uh, forever licenses 
Okay, so before we get going, this slide is going to be one of the most useful slides, I think. So Unity has a massive user community, and um, so therefore you should take advantage of that. So there's these two websites here, Unity Answers and Unity Forums. Uh, answers is people ask questions, people answer them, hopefully. And Unity Forums is more discussion-based. Uh, script reference, you can't really do without script referencing. And also some tutorial, they, they've started to populate some tutorial videos, but those uh, tutorial videos are still, there's only very, very beginner level tutorials there, but uh, they're quite good. And also the asset store. So the asset store has been quite a um, popular thing in Unity. Uh, it allows people to develop and publish and sell their own assets, whether those are kind of tools or whether they are shaders or textures or uh, scripts, anything you want really, um, and you access that from within Unity. By the way, uh, interrupt me at any time if, if, I'm, if you need to ask questions or um, if you want me to repeat something or anything like that. So. This list? No, no, the next list of all the resources in the room. Um, so, do um, you recommend like, the best way to tell stories? Tutorial videos? I'd say, I'd say, I'd say do some tutorial videos and then look on the Unity Assets Store. Well, the best way of learning is just to try and do something simple, um, which I'll, at the end of this uh, tutorial session, I'll package up all the projects that I've used and um, shown, and then I'll send them to everyone. I'll put them on a public link somewhere um, so you can look at the scripts and look at how the projects are set up. Um, yeah, so the best way is just try and just start slow and just start trying to do some simple things uh, and just work from there, really. Um, I found that the Unity for the Mechan video that's like four minutes is a really good one just to go back. Yeah. Because most things have questions about animation and stuff like that. Yeah. And they go through everything really quickly, but there is an example of, of basically everything to do an entire uh, character animation in there, and there's a light between and stuff like that. So yeah. You can get spoiled a bit, but it's like it's like intro. It's that's like that, the that most that common video on the on the web, I think, as far as. But that's specifically for character animation, so it's not going to show you how to do anything else apart from character animation. Um, so if you're interested in anything else, then it's not going to be so useful for you. But I, I just opened the asset store. I got to the asset store by, oh, the screen is very low resolution, but um, I got to the asset store by going to window and then asset store. Um, and then I just searched for tutorial. And there's many tutorials that you can go for. Some of them are more complex than others. This one is one that I went through about two, I started using Unit about two years ago. And I went through this one. It's a little bit dated now. Um, I would possibly go for, it's dated because it was done in the 3.5 engine, now we're on 4, and there's lots of changes uh, from 3 to 4. So if possible, you should probably go for a 4.0 upwards tutorial, if you can find those. Um, yeah, so have a look around there. So I've been using Unity for about two years or so. Um, I've done various things in Unity. I've uh, released an app, um, iOS and Android app, and I've also run experiments which have then been published um, in various conferences and experimental interfaces. So we use it for within our VR systems, within the cave and head-mounted displays. And also, I occasionally use it for experimental user interfaces, um, just much more simple mock-ups. 